Okay, so this is a video I've been looking forward to doing for, for a long time and I do get a lot of questions from men about this and I have got a lot of experience, so I will share it. Yeah, I just want to say thanks everyone who came down to the Fearless event yesterday. It was great. I wasn't sure how many was going to turn up. We ended up having a great time. Uh, we had a great chat, coffee, and then we, we went for a meal after. It was really good. I really appreciated it. Okay, so in, in this video, I'm going to speak about what to do um, if women are playing games over text message or in any area. But I'm mainly going to focus on texting. I'm going to share something with you. Very, very interesting, right? Now, I don't expect most people to agree with me on this or to understand it. And I don't really care, quite frankly, because I guess because I follow what I know is right for me, my values and, and the kind of way that I want to date, which is with honesty. And I know the majority of society doesn't do that. You know, it's weird that we live in a culture and a society today. It's a shame, really. It's kind of sick that they almost celebrate like being manipulative and not being honest and fake. Like they, they seem to love that and I don't. And I'm that's something I'm never going to change on because I, I, that, 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 I'm not into that stuff, right? And most of my clients are not, which is why I can work with them and they can work with me. And I know a lot of you are not. So a lot of guys, um, through lack of experience with dating, and even some guys who've got experience, if they meet a woman that they like and they're attracted to physically. Let's just, okay, all right? Let's say that the girl is um, really attractive looking, right? And again, everybody's version of attractive is different, but I guess in society there are there are certain agreed stereotypes as to a beauty, right? I, I don't always agree with these things, but that's how, that's, how, that's how it runs. So you meet a girl that you like, she's attractive, you have a conversation with her, she seems to like you and you ask her out, you ask her for a phone number, she says yes, she gives you a number, fine. But when you get back home on the day or a day later, whenever you text, you, you all of a sudden find yourself sending a message which is genuine and honest. You're just picking up basically from where you left off of her, which is a decent conversation. When you message her, for example, and say, hey, it was nice to meet you, enjoy the chat, blah, 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 and you, you leave your name, something like that, or how are you? She takes ages to get back. So she doesn't message, she might text you like a day later, two days later, which is quite long today, being that technology, everything's available instantly, pretty much. So that's like a red flag for me, right? Unless there's a good excuse, right? And obviously people do get busy, but even that, you know, how long does it take to send a message back to someone? So for me, that's a red flag, but a lot of guys won't see that. They might feel it inside, but they'll rationalize it and they'll continue. Basically, they'll accept that behavior. And that's kind of the moral of the story today, which is what I think you shouldn't let people treat you bad. As, you know, and when you're dating women, you should value yourself more. Personally, that's, that's what I believe in. And you should treat other people it's the same. So that's a red flag. The bigger red flag is, Okay, she might get back to you and say, yeah, it was good to meet you too. Okay, great, there's some interest. So now when you say, should we go out for a coffee or should we go out for a drink or should we meet up? All of a sudden now, she doesn't give you a clear answer. She doesn't just say, yes, I would like to do that. Or if she's changed her mind, fair enough, right? You're allowed to change your mind or she doesn't want to. She could say, you know, actually, I'm going to leave it and we'll leave going out of you, but, you know, thanks for meeting me and your, or thanks for the conversation, like, you know, kind of like good manners. Basically, she doesn't get back. She might, like, she might change the subject or ask you a question about what do you do for work. It's, it's, it's all game playing. It's not honest because if we've made an agreement, if we have a conversation between a man and a woman and a guy asks a woman out and she says yes, and obviously the phone number is a part of the communication and you agree that you're going to text her and she goes, okay, cool, fine. Then when it comes to texting, she's not responding or taking long or when you're asking her out, she's not giving you a straight answer. It's playing games. You, we've, there's already been an agreement broken. And for me, some people might say, oh, that's a bit harsh. and But I don't see it like that because maybe you don't have the experience that I've got in dating, positive and negative. So I've got a lot of experience with people and relationships, and obviously I've done this as as a as a as a career teaching. Uh, a lot of experience. I've dated some quality women that are really good and honest, and I've met some that are not quality, in my opinion, and they play games, and 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 they're not honest and they're toxic. 
So it really is about having that intelligence to, to know the difference between a good woman, a good character. But of course, what, where a lot of guys go wrong is just because a woman's good looking and attractive physically, they're so afraid of losing love, losing the girl approval, all the same thing you know, that they're willing to put up with anything. And that's when I think guys are selling themselves out very cheaply. And I'll be honest, when I first got into dating, I was younger because society has such bad influences most of the time. It encourages this behavior. You know, I, I went with it. But then I realized as I got older, I'm not going to follow society. I'm not following everyone else just because everybody else does it this way. I, I'm a man of faith. I believe in God. I believe in integrity. I believe in right and wrong. I'm not perfect, but I'm certainly better than that. And it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good inside. So I didn't need a book to tell me that. I didn't need a guru or a teacher. I just knew in my own heart, this ain't right. It don't feel right. If it doesn't feel right, it isn't right. And I don't like the behavior of this woman. I don't like the way she's treating me. I don't want to, I don't want to go out with someone long-term like this or even short-term. I don't want to be a part of it. So I'm going to I'm going to reject her. I'm going to reject her behavior and I don't care how beautiful she is. Let all the other guys do it. That's them. That's not me. So it takes a strong-minded person. It it takes the type of person I don't meet many today in society. I'm sorry I don't. It takes someone who knows themselves a bit more and someone who has the courage to stand for what they believe in and not go with everyone else and people go of it because they're scared of being they're sc people are scared of following their own heart they're scared of being different and stepping outside of what is called the norm but i don't think it's normal to play games i wouldn't do it if i agreed to meet a woman i'm not going to start playing games in messages because i just think that first of all it's immature number two it shows me that you have a weak character because anybody who has to lie break promises manipulate is a weak person i don't care what external that you portray, whether that's beauty, houses, cars, bags. I don't care about that. That's it's all weak. That doesn't that doesn't that doesn't mean that you're strong. It doesn't mean you're good. It's not good. So I don't want to be a part of it. So you know that's my filtering process and I like living my life like that because when you meet a woman and I've met many who don't play games and I've dated, you know, again, I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to sound like I'm bragging, and I'm not, I'm really, I ain't, but I've got to tell the truth. So I have to say, this. like, I've dated some women that are really attractive, beautiful, fantastic figures, and just lovely, and they don't play games. They don't do all that bullshit. They don't pretend to like you, change their mind, not text you back for days, or, you know, or be, or turn up late, or not turn up, or flake, or cancel, or say, oh, actually... Oh, no, I can't go out if you've got a boyfriend. It's like, why did you lie? Why did you... They don't do all that because they've got better self-esteem. They're better people. They're, the quality of character is better than the quality of life. So this would be my advice. It's pretty straightforward. And see, a lot of guys, I think, as well, are very narrow-minded. They generalize women and dating separate from people in general. I don't do that. So I don't change my values because, oh, if it's a beautiful woman and I'm attracted to her physically, and I want to get to know her, and then she gives me her phone number, and she starts playing all these games, I'm just going to cut her out. I will never text her again. That's, that's my principles. I don't, I don't break them for anybody. Same in business, which is obviously not, not dating. If somebody wants to work with me, and I don't like their attitude, I ain't going to work with them. I don't care how much money I'm going to lose. For me, it's um, I'm not losing anything. If I don't like their attitude, and, and I, I, something's not right, and I go about my life like that, but but society don't teach that. Society creates a model one size fits all, and most of the time it's dark. So if you don't want those sorts of relationships, um, then cut them out. Cut them out, like he says in the film Heat. Um, I don't know. I think he's referring to all areas of life, and he says if I spot the heat, I'm out. There, I'm out of there. Ten seconds flat. Meaning, even if I'm in love with someone, if I see something that I really don't like behavior i'm out of there and i can't that's how i kind of go about it now obviously when you go about your life like this you are going to be different so people are going to judge you but i don't give a, I don't give a crap what they think someone's opinion of me it doesn't matter to me when i don't know them and i don't agree with them so why would i care about what a group of people in society think about me 
when I don't like their morals and values. So it comes down to your morals and your values. What are your morals and values? Are you breaking your morals and your values that your mum and dad brought you up with and that, and that you go by just because a woman's pretty and because you're desperate to get approval and attention? Don't do it. It's not worth it because there's so many good women out there that won't play those games. But if you play those games, then you're no better. You're just the same. So that's why I don't agree with gaming anybody. And that's why I don't teach that stuff. But the culture today, it seems to be ridden. It's everywhere. And I've got my reasons. And many people agree. You know, you see it on Instagram. I have to explain it. You've got these celebrities. They're terrible role models for kids and people and for men and women. So obviously... If you've got a culture that's telling women to be dishonest, and men as well, right? I'm not being one-sided, by the way, for anybody. Uh, today, everybody loves to pick at things. I've always said, and I stand by it, and I'm not just saying it because I'm on a camera. It's because I mean it. I've got a great respect for women, and I always tell my clients or guys who follow my video videos, be respectful with women. It's very important. But that doesn't mean that you're a doormat. Being respectful doesn't mean you don't respect yourself because I respect myself a lot, which is why I wouldn't tolerate that. So you don't have to be rude. You don't have to swear in a message and say, oh, how dare you play games? I wouldn't do that. Just ignore it. Just say, you know what? I think I'm going to change my life. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Women do it. Women do it to men all the time. So same advice I'd give to a woman. Any woman out there that wants to have better relationships... Don't don't date guys who play games. Don't date them. There's many good men out there. Many good men that wouldn't do that, wouldn't treat you like that. Same advice. So you can't say I'm being unfair. You can't say, oh, because I know what society's like. They love doing this. Oh, he's just nitpicking at women. And, oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm pointing out uh, an area, but it can be in both. It can be men and women. So I don't play games. Like, the you know, it's funny, isn't it? The The society loves judging people who are honest for being immoral, but they're immoral. But they teach the whole, they teach kids to be immoral. On in, you know, all these influences on Instagram, all this, all this overly sexual pictures everywhere. It, it's such a contradiction. Um, so for me, I know I've deviated there, but these things kind of connect, um, you know. But still, I think you can't excuse that. I don't think that's an excuse where, you know, a woman could say, well, I'm just copying what society did. Because you've got to have your own mind as well, right? And a strong-minded woman won't be influenced by society. She'll be influenced by her values, by what she believes in, what's to be right. So I'm sure there's a lot of women that don't want to play games. They're lovely underneath. But they feel pressure as well. Because they've got society saying, oh, keep your man guessing. Or don't be, like, oh, don't make things easy for him. Oh, men should wait, you know. Push, pull, trick him. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I'm going to speak up on it because many people feel the same way. Men and women are sick of it. And that's why I don't do online dating because I feel majority of it is that culture. The Instagram culture, the online dating culture, the, the nightclubbing culture. That's why I go out and meet women in the daytime to break out of society and just be a normal, just be a nice person. And that's why I do have a lot of great connections. So I have this perspective because I, I broke out of that negative perspective from society. And I used to feel the pressure of it. And I used to feel it. I, when you feel your moral compass not agreeing with something, it's because it's not right. So just because society says it, magazines, the media, you know in your own heart it isn't right to be behaving like that. So I don't play games of women, I'm honest, as most of you know. And some women really like me for that. And some women don't like me. They'll reject me straight away because they're just, it's too... I don't, they don't like it. And I've accepted that. That's fine. You can't be liked by everyone. And that's why I value um, those that are honest. So for me, it's always a sign. I know like, the last woman I dated, like several, was lovely. And there's no games. She was a lovely person. Beautiful, lovely woman. Very respectful. And we're still good friends. And she didn't play any games. And I didn't. She was fantastic. She's a good person. So because I have positive experiences with women who don't play games, and I know how fruitful that type of relationship is, I can immediately, I can immediately tell you the difference between toxic behavior, manipulative behavior. And like I said, any women watching this video, I'll give you the same advice. If you're not happy with the guys that you're dating or, or the way it is, then cut them out when you start seeing these tricks. Because men do it, obviously, as well. I'm not just saying it's women. But I feel like the society really pressures women and encourages them 
to almost have like a, to treat men bad. And it, we're never gonna get by like that. And, and of course there's, of course there's groups out there that encourage men and I don't agree with it. So for me, um, that's something that I, I don't do. So my advice would be don't play games. And if someone's playing games, then cut them out unless you want that. Now, if you want that, then you're going to go and do that. You don't, you're not going to take my advice and that's fine. I'm only speaking to intelligent people that want to be better and want to be more honest. And listen, I'm not sitting here saying that no one's, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I am honest. I am a lot better than, than that, than that sort of behavior, which is just vulgar, where you're basically abusing people. And guys let women do this to them because they've got such low self-esteem. They don't value themselves. And they're asleep. They can't see it. They're not aware of it. Or they're a little bit aware of it. They probably feel that this doesn't feel very right. My mum wouldn't do this to me. My sisters, my dad didn't bring me up like this. Or, you know, I know I'm going deep, but, you know, probably thinking my grandma's lovely. She's a woman. She's respectable. Why is this girl doing it? Well, because you're allowing her to. And because she's in that place. So at the end of the day, I'm not here to fix everyone. I can't do that. I wish I, wish I could. But you have, we have choices. So if you don't like the format of dating, then, then don't do it. And that's how I go about it. And make sure that you're treating the same. Because obviously you can't moan about women playing games with you guys if you're a game player. If you're a game player, then you've got, you can't complain. You're just contradicting. But if you're not game playing and you are being honest and you're getting games played, then you've got to put your foot down and you've got to be willing to walk out 10 seconds flat and lose a woman. Because for me, looks only go so far. It's attractive at the start. It's nice for a while, but then you get used to it. But character lasts forever. When you've got to live with someone, you've got to date them, you've got to spend time with them. Looks don't do everything. They don't, unfortunately, even though we're obsessed with them in our culture. And I like good looking good looking women as well. And I've dated good looking women, but it isn't everything. It's not everything. It really isn't. Character goes a long way. If you're, if you're beautiful, but you've got an ugly character, then you're not going to be attractive to me. I'm sorry. But if you're beautiful looking and you've got a beautiful character, then you're absolutely beautiful and you're intelligent and you're kind. And there are, there are women out there that are like that. Uh, and they're the women that I, I seek to date. And I wouldn't settle for anything less and neither should you. All right. So I hope that helped you guys and girls because I get this question all the time um, with this predicament where guys are not being treated well, they're not sure, they're like, is, is, this, is this normal? And I don't think it is. But again, everyone's version of normal is different. If you want to go with society, then they're going to just say, I'm wrong, they're going to judge me, like, I don't care. I don't care what they think. But if you think I'm right, and you feel the same way, and you know you're right, follow your heart, all right, fill us.